Hello, good morning once again, my dear Matayum 2 students. How are you today? I hope that you're doing good. Now, today we're going to continue our lesson on polynomial. Okay, so we have here today we're going to learn about the addition and subtractions of polynomials. So how we can do this? We have here addition and subtraction of polynomials can be done by adding and subtracting only like terms okay so meaning to say that we're going to check if uh, the variables and its power are the same if that's so then we can add they or subtract the coefficients okay so just like here in our example so we have here the variable x and with the variable x so we can add the two coefficients 7 and 12 for this one we have uh, x power 2 and x power 2 Okay, they're the same, so we can add 5 and 3. For this one, we have here the variables x and y with the powers x power 3, y power 2. The same here on the other side, okay? So we have here 1 as the coefficient, so we can add 2 and 1. Here we have subtraction, x power 2 and x power 2. Okay, so we can subtract 7 minus 2. And we have here the last one, x power 3, y power 2 and z. But take a look at here, we don't have Z. So meaning to say we cannot subtract this to uh, monomial. Na? Or we say polynomial. Na? We cannot add this because it uh, there's a missing one variable here. So it's not they are not like terms. Okay? So we just only choose those ha having the same uh, terms or the variables and its corresponding powers. Now we have your examples. Oops. Okay, so we have here, number one, we have here the expression 3x power 2 plus 5x power 2 plus 12x power 2. Okay, this addition. So you will see here that the variable x, uh, we have here x power 2, the same x power 2 and x power 2. So meaning to say that these three are like terms. So we can, uh, we can add the coefficients. We have 3 plus 5 is 8 plus 12, that is 20x power 2, okay? Now, number 2, we have 18x power 3, y power 2, plus x power 3, y power 2, plus 2x power 3, y power 2, okay? So, so, we check the variable and its power, the same x power 3, y power 2, x power 3, y power 2, x power 3, and y power 2, meaning to say they are or they were like terms, no? So we can add the coefficient 18 plus 1. We have 1 here. Nah? Even though that you there's no 1 here, but still there's a uh, 1 there for the coefficient, leading coefficient. Now we have here 18 plus 1 is 19 plus uh, 2. We have 21. So therefore, uh, the sum is 21 x power 3, y power 2. Number 3, we have subtraction here. We have we check x power 3, y power 2, and z. Okay, the same. So they're like terms, no? so we can subtract the coefficient, 7 minus 5 uh, is 2. So we copy x power 3, y power 2, and z. Okay, did you understand me? Okay, now we proceed to other examples. We have here number 4. So we add here with uh, two groups of polynomials. So this is a polynomial, and this is another polynomial. Okay, so we add two polynomials. Now we have here x power 2 minus 5 plus 4x power 2 minus x power 2 plus 2. The second polynomial, we have 10 minus 4x power 2 plus 3x power 2. Now remember that if this is addition, remember that if we take out the parenthesis, there will be no changes here in the second polynomial. Nah? So if we're going to take the, the, the parenthesis, you will see that we have, so we just copy the first polynomial. We have this one. And the second polynomial, we have 10. Then we have minus 4x power 2, then plus 3x power 2. It doesn't change because this is uh, uh, already addition or positive. Nah? So when you have multiplied that one with this, still the same positive, right? Okay. So for, after this, we're going to have a combined like terms. Nah? We're going to combine like terms to check. The leading coefficient, uh, the leading uh, degree is this one with the power of 2, right? 
Okay, so we're going to put it first with the power of 2, x power 2, we have the next 4x power 2, we have next is minus x power 2, and next is, uh, we have this one, minus 4x power 2, and the last one is 3x power 2. Okay, now next is with the x, x power 1 or x, we don't have x, we don't have x, okay, we go to the constant number. Starting with minus 5, we have a minus 5 here, followed by positive 2 or plus 2, this one, we have here plus 10, this one, and no more. Okay, so we can add now those like terms, like this one, those are all like terms. So you will see here that we have 2 for x power 2, so this will be 0, right? And we have here x power 2 and minus x power 2, this also be 0, so what would be left? We have 3x power 2. Right? So we have here 3x power 2. And with the constant, we have uh, negative 5 plus 2 or minus 5 plus 2 is negative 3 plus 10. That would be positive 7 or plus 7. So therefore, the sum for these two polynomials is equal to 3x uh, power 2 plus 7. Okay, my. You know this, my. Question. No, chai, my. Okay, so we have here our last example, number 5. Subtraction. We are going to subtract two polynomial. Na? So we have here, the first one is 5x power 3, y power 2, plus x power 3 minus uh, 4. Then minus with this polynomial, we have 5x power 3, or power, x power cube, plus 10 minus x power 3, then y power 2. So again, for this time, since that this is subtraction, there would be changes in the sign of our second polynomial. Because if we're going to multiply, there would be changes, right? So just like this one. So for the first polynomial, there would be no changes. Still the same, the same sign. But for the second one, we have negative times positive 5 will give you negative 5, right? Okay. Negative times a positive 10 will give you a negative 10, right? Okay. Negative times a negative x power 3, y power 2 will give you a positive x power 3, y power 2, right? Okay, so remember about uh, the multiplication. Uh, the same sign, if you are multiplying the same sign, you will have positive. If you are multiplying opposite sign, then you will get the negative, okay? Now, next step is to combine like terms. So we're going to check what is the highest degree is this one, right? But we're going to have first with x, our first term, x power 3, right? We're going to put first uh, x power 3 as our first term here, okay? So that would be here, this one, followed by negative 5 uh, x power 3, okay, no more. Then followed by with the y, x with the y. So we have this one, 5 x power 3, y power 2, we have this one, and followed by this one x power 3, y power 2. And what else? We do, have, we, do we have um, uh, x power 1 or x or y? We don't have. So we go with the constant number. We have negative 4 here. And we got negative 10. Okay, so we can now add like terms. For this one, we can have 1 minus 5. Okay, 1 minus 5 will give you minus 4 x power 3. Right? And this one, we have 5 and 1. 5 plus 1 will give you 6x power 3, y power 2. And we have the constant number. We have negative 4 and negative 10 will give you negative 14. Okay? So we have here our answer. But take a look at our leading uh, term. It is negative. Okay? It's negative. So it's either that you're going to swap with the positive one or you can factor out the negative. So it uh, would be good if your answer, final answer would be in positive form, like this one. It is positive. The leading uh, coefficient or the leading term is in positive. Okay? So it's either that you're going to switch this. This will be the first term and followed by this or this, this one is the last. Or you can factor out the negative. Okay? So if you're going to factor out the negative, this will be positive. Uh, from positive, it will be negative. From negative, it will be positive. Okay? You don't understand my question. No question, shall I? Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, we're going to have more example on addition and subtraction and the next meeting. See you tomorrow. Bye.